All right, guys, have a seat. Okay, look. Let's talk about a few things. I like the practices we've had this week. Everybody was focused. And that's good. Now comes reality. Now comes the day of reckoning. Now comes game time, gentlemen. Let me first say something important. As much as I hate the Philadelphia Eagles more than anything in the entire world, I love the city of brotherly love. My hatred for this team has nothing to do with the good people of Philadelphia. It's a great city, great people, great history. I got a lot of family and friends in South Philly. Rocky inspired me to be the man I am today. That being said, the Eagles are a bucket full of shit who I've hated since Chuck Bidnarik buried Frank Gifford on a tackle 60 years ago. I'll never forget that play. 60, I'm 56. He hit him so hard, I felt it, even though it was four years before I was born. Bidnarik was great, don't get me wrong, but Gifford was my little golden boy. Bidnarik almost killed him. What? What they did to my boy. But I hate the fucking Eagles. And they present the problem for us, gentlemen. Why? Because we have an offensive line that has three 350-pound salamis with helmets on, and the Eagles have a killer defensive line. That's not good. That's not good at all. You know, I watch these fat fucks all week. They lift weights all week. They lift hundreds of pounds. They throw truck tires like they're Cheerios. Okay? They hit the blocking sleds. They walk around like I got a fucking air pump up their ass. They look like animals in practice. Then, we, we, we get in a game and a fucking defensive end farting can knock them down. Farts knock them down. But wait, the Eagles secondary is banged up and not healthy. That's the weak link on that team right now. So what's going to happen, guys? Is this game going to wind up being a good defensive line that pressures Eli and covers for a bad secondary? Or is it going to be a bad secondary that gives Eli an opportunity to get rid of the ball and make up for a bad offensive line? Holy shit, my Fucking head is going to explode with these fucking guys. Okay. So now I'm going to tell you who my wife is betting on and why. First of all, she's betting with mybookie.ag. Punch in the promo code, capitals V-I-C, for the promo code. And she's going to bet the under with the Giants. She bet the over with the Yanks, their last game, she's 7-0. and Why is she betting the under with the Giants tonight? Well, let me explain. Maybe this will make some sense to you. Look, men, we haven't scored 20 points now in eight games going back to last year, okay? That's half a fucking season. We just don't score a lot. The Eagles have no running game, and we have the giant big blue defense. I think this is going to be a low-scoring game with the defenses controlling the game. It'd be nice if Eli could change that, but I don't know. I just don't know anymore. At one point, I thought I knew, but I don't know anymore. I don't know. Maybe McAdoo can figure out how to change the game plan. Guys, we're 0-2 going into this game, okay? I'm not going to say this, this is a must win, but holy fucking shit, there's only 16 games in a season. We can do it, guys. They aren't robots. They're human beings just like us. They have ups and downs from play to play, game to game. Anything can happen. 
It's all about effort. It's all about which team, which player wants it more. You have to play hard every single second of every single game. Remember David beat Goliath? We can beat David. Can we throw slingshot and hit the eagles in their eyes with stones and rocks? I don't know. That's, that's probably a penalty, right? Somebody look that up? Yeah, that's probably a penalty. Can't do that. Look, guys, just play hard, damn it. Here are the five keys to winning today. It's simple. Number one, the offensive line must not play like five fat fucks. Number two, Eli must stay on his feet, not throw an interception, and we must hypnotize him to think he's his brother. Number three, we simply must throw to Odell early and often. Gold schoolyard. Just let Odell get open. J just throw it to him. A lot. Number four, the offensive line must not play like five fat fucks. Number five. The defense must contain the Eagles' offense since the Eagles' rushing game is not good at all. We can key on the passing game. Oh, did I say the offensive line must not play like five? five, five I, I said that. Okay. That's it, guys. I, uh, I got nothing more to say. I can only teach you so much. But you guys got to go out and play the game. Guys, you are Big Blue. You are the New York Giants. The most storied NFL franchise in the history of the NFL. Eli, you, you. Step up. Have a game, you son of a bitch. Have a good game. I don't think you're done. I think you still have gas in the tank. Just don't fall down because someone is yelling at you. That's all I ask. Now go lead this team to a victory. Okay, guys. That's it. I'm done. Go have breakfast. Think about today. Think about winning. Now get out of my face.